obviously the WNBA has been doing a ton in terms of advocacy. You know, we've dedicated this entire season to Breonna Taylor and other uh, black women. I think that I've seen my teammates firsthand have to deal with a lot of this stuff. Um, and it's just, it's just appalling about like the situations and scenarios they go through, their families go through, um, how unsafe that they feel. And uh, there are a ton of people that feel like sports should not be political. And uh, my response to that is uh, when people are losing their lives, is it political? I think for me, it's just talking about a human right and like humanity uh, perspective uh, than political. I th just think it's important to have a lot of conversation. You know, over the past couple months, I've had countless conversation with family, uh, with friends that I don't think have the same view as me. And so it's been uh, a big blessing because I have the opportunity in life experiences playing sports that has allowed me to see this. Um, and so if I can try to change someone's perspective on this issue, um, I think that's part of my job. Um, one of my friends said to me, uh, the difference between you and me, he's black. He was like, Kelsey, you'll be in rooms that I will never be in. You will hear things said by other white people that I will never hear because they're comfortable enough to say it around you. And I just hope that in those moments, you'd be proud. So I think I've really taken that to heart. And there's so many moments of like, he's absolutely right. Like, this is exactly the moment he's talking about. And so for, for me to be able to take that moment and make the most of it, um, I feel like that's my duty. I think you have to dive in. I think you have to dive in some of those conversations that are very uncomfortable. And uh, you have to be willing to listen. You know, I don't want this to be combative. I don't want it to turn it into hate speech. Um, I want to come from a place of, you know what? Uh, tell me why you think this. And so, you know, we'll have conversation and then I'll say, hey, have you understand that statistically this, 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 and this, um, and we'll go back and forth. Black Lives Matter. And I think when we say that, we're not disenfranchising any other group. Um, you know, I saw this thing is actually on social media and uh, it was like, there was a street and there was a house on fire and all the firemen were coming to the house. And it was like, one of the neighbors houses wasn't on fire uh, she was like, why are, like, why aren't you taking care of my house? And everyone else is like, because this house is on fire, we're, we're going to take care of this house. Unless your house is on fire, you don't need us. Like, well, why? And so I think that's the disconnect. Some of those things, those conversations have been positive in terms of then they come back and they're like, I never thought about that. So I'm like, as long as I get the, the clocks turning, I think I've done my job.